What's going on everybody, it's your man Jump from World, Levi James. Welcome to the 12 Week Jump Jack training program. I'm here to tell you exactly what you're gonna need to get the most success out of the training program. First of all, download the guide that we have. It's free on the site. It's gonna give you all the written materials that are gonna support the video here, which I'm about to describe to you. So download the guide and you can follow along or reference it after this video. First thing you need, guys, you need a jump rope. If you haven't already got one for yourself, there's many jump ropes out there. We have another video. You can click the link here or here or somewhere on the screen around me here, and it's gonna tell you how to best size the rope and what type of rope you're gonna need for the surface you're jumping on and also the conditions you're jumping in, if you're jumping indoors or outdoors. So click the link here and get that set up for yourself right there. The third thing you're gonna do is just figure out exactly where your workout space is gonna be. So if that's in your house and in your condo or anything, you've usually two options. There's carpeted surfaces and there's hardwood surfaces. Obviously the carpet's gonna provide a little bit more cushioning, but it's gonna provide a little bit more friction as the rope hits it, so keep that in mind. If you're in a hardwood floor place, obviously consider that you may have neighbors. So if there are people living downstairs below you, make sure that when you jump, you're not clicking the rope too hard, or you can invest in an exercise mat. You can find them online. We'll provide the links down in the comments in the video here so you can get yourself set up. There's obviously different thicknesses and different types of rubber to be used, but with a variety of mats out there, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that would be suitable for your needs. The fourth thing you need to do is make sure that you have a proper workout schedule. This allows you ahead of time to prepare and get yourself ready for your exercise program. Once you commit to that date, you know that you've made that appointment to not only yourself, but to those people that you've told that you're doing this challenge, that you're gonna be working out on those days. That's why we have this plan for you. Next thing we talk about is footwear. So the choice if you're jumping indoors or outdoors, obviously you want the shoes to be comfortable and supportive. Make sure your foot isn't swimming around in the shoe. That means you're gonna tie it up nice and tight to keep the heel locked back in the heel cup or the back part of the shoe so it doesn't move around. When it comes to type and style, leave that up to you. As long as it provides you that support and that comfort, especially when you're jumping outdoors, that's all that really matters. I personally recommend a very minimal shoe because I like to feel the ground underneath my feet a little bit more. I don't like a lot of cushioning under my heel, unless of course I'm outdoors jumping in concrete or asphalt. Uh, if you are jumping indoors and you do want to uh, risk jumping in your bare feet, you go right ahead. That's another challenge for you. It'll definitely keep you focused or you could just wear a pair of socks. But as long as your feet are supported and your ankles are supported, that's the right footwear for you. Next thing we're gonna make sure is that we get lots of water and rest. These are most important to you. You're gonna be really excited as you start this program, which is fantastic, but make sure that we do it in a nice scheduled manner so that we don't overtrain. That's another thing we try and avoid is to make sure that we don't do too much too soon so that we can actually enjoy the length of the 12 week program without incurring any injuries or delays in our progress through jumping or body weight exercises. Rest is incredibly important too, because that's when your body's gonna regenerate. When you're following the nutritional plan and getting the proper nutrition to supplement all the training you're doing, rest is the important part that puts everything together. That's when your body actually repairs all the tissues that you've been putting through all their paces through your jump or workout. So make sure you get lots of water and proper rest, good quality sleep. The last thing you do guys is tell everybody you know about this training program. Tell everybody you're participating in it. Tell everybody you're learning these awesome jump rope moves, these great body weight exercises. Let people know what you're doing because just by you declaring what you're doing and sharing your progress may inspire somebody else to do the same thing. And the last thing we're gonna do is make sure that you share your progress. Share your intention to start this program. Share your progress through the program. Share your successes, share your frustrations. Share everything about the transformation that you're about to go through to make your life better. As you do that, you never know. You may inspire somebody else to do the same thing. And boom, there you go. You just made the world a better place. Not just for you, but for other people through exercise and of course, jump rope training. <laughs> there you go guys, those are the top five things you're gonna need to be successful and prepared for this training program. Again, reminder, download the free guide from our site, like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if there's something that we didn't cover in here that you need to know, or you just have a question for us. You wanna let us know something good or something that you really enjoy about jump and rope. Till then guys, I'm your man Jump Rope, Levi James. Good luck in the program.